In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an email campaign and write an email inside of system.io. So what you want to do is go to the top and search for system, S-Y-S-T-E-M-E dot I-O. Click enter. And what you want to do is you want to sign up and you can get started with a free account. I'll actually leave a link down in the description down below for a free system.io account. And it'll get you started. As you can see, you'll be able to sign up with this free account. And you'll be able to have 2,000 email contacts, so 2,000 people on your list. And you'll be able to send out unlimited emails. And you can't beat free, so it's a great way to get started. So make sure you get started for free and or you sign in if you already have an account. So I'm going to sign in. And as you can see, we have our dashboard here. And what we want to do is we go to the very top over to emails and click campaigns. And since you probably don't have any campaigns created, it'll have this message here, so no need to worry about that. Go to the very top and click create. And we're gonna need to name our campaign. So let's say we were promoting a keto diet ebook. So we could name this, let's see, keto diet ebook. And you can put in a description if you like. When you're done, you can click save. As you can see, it says save campaign specifically. Okay, now what we wanna do is we wanna click on the name. And right now we want to create an email. So we're gonna go to the top and click add email. And here you're gonna put your name, the subject, and your email address. And I'd highly recommend that you do not use a Gmail email. It would probably be the best bet to purchase an actual domain and then build off uh, an email account from that. So instead of build digital income at gmail.com, it would be, let's say, keto or your name at buildadillincome.com. Let's go ahead and place a name in here and type in a subject. Okay, so I put Get your free keto ebook today. And what we want to do is we want to choose a visual or the classic. So if we choose a classic, that's just going to be a text-based. The visual, of course, is going to be visual. It's going to be drag and drop. So for now, let's do the visual editor and let's click create. As you can see, we have a warning here saying that email addresses from Gmail cannot be used as the sender address. And this is because of DMARC policy. You can click here for more information. But basically, anyone can send an email from a Gmail account and just blast it out. And a lot of those people are performing spam violations. So you're going to have to choose an email address from the actual domain that you own. Okay, so I've changed it to one of my domains. Click create. Okay, and here's the drag and drop visual editor. And as you can see, it's pre-built just to show you examples. So what I want to do is I'm going to go up at the very top and delete this logo. So we go to the top out of the trash can and click trash. And okay. Also I'm going to click this. I'm going to delete this part right here. And basically what you do is you just click on each area and it gives you the options on the side of what you want to do. So you can upload a file or paste it in as a URL. Adjust the size and the alignment. To delete it, just click on the image and hit the delete button. And hover over, we can click the trash can icon and now delete the image. You can click in on text and change it. Okay, I've changed it to this. And you can also link text so it can take them to the product that you want them to purchase or a YouTube video or one of your newest blog posts. So to do this, we just double click and let's add another text area. Okay, so we typed in click here to get your keto ebook. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight this, go to the very top with the link icon and click link. I'm gonna hover over here and we're gonna upload. And this is our file manager and I already have a keto ebook ready that I've created in a previous video. I'm gonna click upload. Okay, let's click this one. It's our PDF file and it's gonna start uploading. And here it is and we just click insert. As you can see, this is unlined now. This text is unlined. So now it is a link. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the text. Go to the color area. Click it. And we're going to choose a blue. Do this one. All right, now that's blue now. And it'll stand out at a link. Kind of like this one. This is also a link, but it's the example link for the example text. And what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to rewrite this whole email and get rid of most of the images. And then we'll cut back to test the link out. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, here it is. It's a simple email. And your emails don't have to be complicated. Actually, the less involved they are, the better. Because it just takes your customer through the whole process quickly and easily. Here's a link, and it links out to the ebook. So what I want to do is I want to go up to the top and click Save Changes. And we go to the top, over to the right, and click Exit. Okay, now on this page, we can see that the there's a warning on our sender email. And when we click this, it says this domain has not been authenticated. Read this article to learn how to authenticate your domain name. This is incredibly important because if you don't authenticate your domain name, your email from your own domain, then most of your messages are going to land in spam, in the spam folder. So it's really important. And they may not even be delivered at all. So this is an incredibly important step. Another thing I want to show you is the tags over here. And you can put, place these in and 
it'll pull the names or the emails from your subscriber list. So on the very top, we can click in here, hit the enter, and click hello, and make sure that's not bold, and that's at 16. Okay, so I'm going to save that again and exit. You want to scroll down and copy the first name. Click back in the editor. And click next to the hello. And I want to paste that in. And now when the customer, the subscriber gets the email, it'll say hello and then their name. So this is just a, a code. It's not going to actually show up for them. It'll show their actual name. And it just makes the email more personalized. Okay, so let's go to the top and click Save Changes and exit. Now what we can do is go to the top and we can click the save and test email and it'll be sent to your email address. That way you can see how it looks on your mobile device or your desktop computer. Okay, as you can see their email came through. Since I'm not on the actual subscriber list, it is just a test. My name doesn't show up here, but just keep in mind if they actually subscribe, their name will show up so they won't see this. As you can see it has a unsubscribe link at the very bottom and when we click this, it takes us to the unsubscribe page and it tells them they have been unsubscribed. This is really important as to not be labeled as spam. Going back to the email, when we hover over and click on our link. Okay, and as you can see, it opens up our ebook. It has our full book, and the customer can read. They can scroll down, and they can click our links if we have any links inside. They can also go to the top and save, print, or download. And when they download it, it'll take them right here, and they can download the ebook. Now, going back to our email, we want to click Save and Publish. And this is our email scheduler. And we can choose to set this to days or hours. And we can choose to set it after a certain thing has happened. Right now we don't have any subscribers, so this is going to show up blank. But if this was populated, it would say after subscription or after subscriber has subscribed. So we can click publish. And you can see we have our email name, the amount of delay, how many contacts at that particular step have activated, how many emails have been sent out, the percentage of people that have opened it, the total number of people that have actually clicked on the email. You can create your own comment here. The check mark shows active or inactive. To deactivate, you can click the deactivate button. You can click here to see your stats. This shows the open rate, click rate, the spam report percentage, and the bounce rate. The bounce rate is the percentage of the email where it does not go into the inbox. And down here, you'll see all your analytics after you start getting numbers in. Going back to the email campaign page, we can click the duplicate. And we can duplicate the email. And finally, we can trash. So now what we want to do is we'll probably want to go up to the funnels. Click funnels. These are my example funnels right now. Click create. I want to create a keto ebook. And we want to collect email addresses and build an email list. So click this and create. As you can see here, we can click a landing page. And let's just choose this one right here. Select. And go over here and click the edit pencil icon. Okay, so what we do here is we click in each box and edit the text, edit any images we have. We already have our form in here. We can click on the button and change the color. So right here, maybe we want a green. There we go. Click in here, we also change the text and the font. So I've typed in click here to get your free Kidoo ebook. And you can see it shows up on the button. If we click on the button, you can see that we can actions when button is clicked, we can send it to a form. The next step, we can choose a custom URL or no redirection at all. So if we want to take them to the like a thank you page, we can click custom URL. Or the next step, which in this case would be a thank you page. Here you can choose to do a double opt-in and I would highly recommend you do a double opt-in. What it's going to do is after the form is submitted, the thank you page will show up letting them know that they need to check their email and click the link to confirm their email once we place it on the list. And it's going to greatly reduce spam and make your list a uh, higher quality. So I'm going to click this. Okay, now change the background image. We're going to hover over the background and scroll up. And we're going to see these icons at the top. We can click the gear icon. And we go over to the menu on the left and go all the way down. And what we want to do is we want to scroll up and let's see. Background image. We're going to click the off of this. And let's do a color instead. So we're going to go to the background color. Choose a color. Maybe a green color. Okay, let's do a gray actually. Okay, that looks good. I go to the very top and click save changes. And we want to click the exit button at the top right corner. And we're on our squeeze page right now, our landing page. Right now we want to set up our thank you and download page. So click this. And we'll click edit. Okay, what we want to do is we want to go up here and delete this. And delete this area. We can keep this. 
And let's go ahead and change this. Okay, so I've typed check your email to confirm your subscription. Okay, now I want to change this image. So click the image and click the gear icon. Go up here and upload. Okay, we're going to select file and choose our 3D ebook cover we created in an earlier previous video. And insert. And this is way too big. So I'm going to shrink this down to, let's see, 150 looks good. And we can go down here and we can keep this if we want to, but I'm just going to delete and delete the section. I'm going to click and change the background by going to the gear icon, clicking off this. I'm going to choose a gray color. There we go. And we can link this button. All right. And what we want to do is we want to click the button, go to the very top and click open URL. And in our URL, we want to click the area where our ebook is stored. And since we already uploaded our ebook earlier, I'm just going to paste that URL in there. And we want to open in a new window. Go to the very top and save changes. Let's go and preview. Okay, and we go and click the button. It'll take us to the ebook. They can scroll down and read. Or they can go to the top and save it to their computer themselves. Going back to our editor. I'm going to click Save Changes again, and we're going to click the Exit button. Now what I want to do is I want to take this URL of this Thank You page, and click this Copy Link button. And it'll say Copy up at top. And go back to our Squeeze or Landing page. Head over to the right and click the Edit Page button. I'm going to scroll down and click the button to edit the button. Over here, you're going to go. Open URL, paste in the thank you page URL. I'm going to choose new window, have the top and click save changes. And then click exit. Now I want to copy the URL of the squeeze landing page. This is the actual live URL. Click copy. I'll go open a new window at the very top and paste that in. As you can see, we have our get my free Q ebook landing page. We type in our name and email and click. And now it takes us to our thank you for signing up. Check your email to confirm your subscription. They can also click the button right here and it takes them to the ebook. This is how you create a simple email campaign and emails within system.io. If you'd like to get started with system.io for free, I'll leave a link down in the description below and it'll take you to the area where you can create a free account and get started today. With that said, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.